Mayberry can't get it to drop. Fumbled away by Bell. Back to Poole. Nope. Slammed in there. Hard by Raymond Thompson. Thompson an athlete talk. Dr. Tom Davis is going to have him down at Iowa, where I believe they'll be a top 10 basketball team with Marble and Armstrong. By Milton Bell, who's 6'6", goes to Georgetown. Owens handling outside with Bell. And Bell, back iron. The rebound. Morning had it for a moment. Owens came inside to get it. Slam it in. The Carlisle Crasher, Mr. Billy Owens. There'll be 30,000 plus every day at the Carrier Dome, one of the better environments in college basketball. Inside Anderson, doubled back to Thompson. West, stay in there. Nice bounce pass. Bell can't get it. Rebound, Thompson. Thompson's going to fit uh, that Iowa running game. He just ran right over Green there. Really felt at him, but the big guy can haul it. He should have given, given the ball up a yep. little sooner, Keith. Yep. But you're right. He's going to fit into the style of play with the Iowa Hawkeyes. He's an athlete. They like to run and press. Should have given it up a little bit earlier. All of them seem to have the big frames as we're Dan rolling around on the floor now. You're going to get a jump ball call on it, but here's an example. And rebounds a game, 6-5 with lots of quickness. Who has the foul? Right, Poole is leaving. And Raymond Thompson is coming back for the West team. McLean comes back. Anderson goes out for the West. You know, we talk about Billy O. And they're led by Ed Horton up front. He averages almost 10 rebounds per game. Ray Thompson, 6'6", freshman, replaced the injured Matt Bullard. And Les Jepsen is the 7'1", junior center. The backcourt is lethal. The Hawkeyes, two leading scorers, both seniors, Roy Marble and point guard B.J. Armstrong. You can just look at the Carolina players, and they really have bulked up in regard to the overall team strength. B.J. Armstrong on the left elbow gets it to Thompson, and he'll fire from three-point range. As this young man has moved into the starting lineup, he's averaging over 15 a game. Extremely good outside shooter, very talented. Gives them that extra score they've needed. Carolina breaks the pressure. Stay with that for a while. Thompson in the paint. He walked and got away with it. William Stepp, Jepson doing a great job on the baseline. And William Stepp inbound. That percent free throw shooter really came on at the end of last season and led the Tar Heels in block shots and steals. Of course, had to go through that tragic period last year in regard to his parents passing away and still came back and, and did a great job in the NCAA tournament. Look at Armstrong. Suffered an injury before that Arizona game, which certainly hurt the Tar Heels. Great hands by Armstrong, gets the rebound. There was a case where all they had to do was tap the ball back, nobody back. Thompson with the basket and he's fouled by Fox. And that's the third personal against Fox. Like a chess match. Both coaches continue to substitute. Jill Cut comes back in. And Fox will sit down for North Carolina. Good pass inside, Armstrong seeing so well. Now, right before that play, Iowa had sent five guys to the boards. Now, watch this. You've got five guys on the boards. Bucknell will be wide open on the outside. All they have to do is tack, tap the ball back out after this play. Good pass to the inside by B.J. Thompson converts the three-point play. And it's a 12-point Iowa lead. here has suddenly gotten very quiet in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. But when you figure J.R. Reed's been on the bench almost the whole game and Lebo is old for everything, this may be his first. He has and it's for nine remaining in the ball game. Horton sits down and Marble down over there on the sidelines. Williams said earlier in the game he loves that jumper straight on ahead and he can shoot it all the way out the top of the key. No place to go. That's Thompson's third personal. You know, you'd like to play for that fellow, Don Davis. You make a mistake, he understands it, not shouting at anybody. He's done a great job at Lafayette, B.C., Stanford, Iowa. 
Last guy. Thompson almost makes the steal. You know, Dr. Tom Davis got his doctorate at the University of Maryland, and he did his thesis or his dissertation. A good idea by Lebo. Nothing there. Iowa's got a three on two. Warner takes it to the middle. Nice pass to the left side, and they score. Thompson is fouled. That was an incredible pass, but even a better catch. Coming up next week, don't forget, college basketball continues here on CBS. Syracuse and St. John's, most of you will see that. Others will see Loyola Marymount against DePaul. Then everybody will see top-ranked Duke, the Blue Devils against the Maryland Terrapins. And then on Sunday, Oklahoma against Pittsburgh. That's all coming up on CBS next weekend. In the bucket. Fox has his shot blocked by Thompson. It'll be Tar Heel basketball as J.R. Reed and Bucknell come back into the game. Chilcutt will sit down. Tim, there make his presence felt right now. Jepson with foul trouble. He can't worry about it now, though. Armstrong calls a timeout. And he needed it. He was about to be called for five seconds. It's 90 to 87. Followed by Reed won't fall. Hawkeye lead. And a foul. Give the Hawkeyes the lead here. Yeah. Iowa backs up. They don't press full court. North Carolina almost can't believe it. Now they're in the half court pressure. Big turnover. This is Thompson. Sensational coaching move by Tom Davis. Gives them this look for the first time in the game. North Carolina got caught by surprise. That's a three-point hole. This entire game, Iowa has picked up full court right all, all, all the way. This time they back off the three-quarter court. You see it's a diamond-type zone. North Carolina not ready for that type of look. Didn't make the adjustment. Iowa gets an easy basket off. Was trying to foul. Lebo couldn't get to Armstrong in time. And Armstrong throws it away anyhow. series for Michigan. Good entry pass on the inside to Mills and looked like he might have gotten fouled when he scoring. Higgins wound up with eight and Robinson seven. While Iowa was paced by Horton, he had eight. Thompson scored six. Jepson had four. The two big shooters for Iowa, B.J. Armstrong, who averaged 19, Roy Marble, who averaged 18.7. No good and Bullard rebounds. Brought out by Boom. Thompson. He goes crashing. Oh, oh a blocking geez. foul is called on Mills. I don't believe that. Unbelievable. I think he traveled before he even got in there. Watch how many steps he takes here. One, two. That might have been close. a good call, but he traveled before that. I'll tell you, Michigan just couldn't get the ball at the other end. Vaughn almost had a slam dunk on a rebound. And uh, left in the overtime. Armstrong takes it to the baseline. Bounce pass. Thompson alone on the weak side. Subs coming in for the Hawkeyes. Three of them, actually. Ryder, Jepson, Moses. You not quite understand how that ball gets when it goes through the basket there, how it gets off on the side of the floor. Somebody's got to be kicking that thing out. Last four points now for Carolina. Cuts it to two. Six points for Kevin Matt. Here's Ray Thompson, who really played outstandingly well against Iowa State Thursday. He already has one three-pointer in this first half. He's not afraid to put it up from out there. Out of Summit, Illinois, a sophomore in the move, and he gets another two. Long arms and six foot five. Oh, what a, what a fine player. He's, he can put it on the floor. He can score inside and outside, and his defense in this press is tremendous. 30-26, Madden again. Good defense by A.C. Earl. Out it comes to Skinner. 
to Moses. Very creative out of Carson, California. Ball not making the mark, and it's going to be Iowa's basketball. Rodel, Henrik Rodel out of West Germany, followed by Chilton, and Gibson comes down with it. Gibson is really giving them strength under the basket. He is very aggressive on the board. Brian Garner hustles it up the floor. Thompson tries to change the shot, and it's going to be up of North Carolina. A foul instead against the Tar Heels. Boy, what effort that time by Ray Thompson. Dean Smith in his 29th year as head coach of the Tar Heels. Gary, I was just going to say that. What what an effort this team gives. I, I just have to repeat that same word because that, that's what makes them what they are. They just pull, scratch, reach for that ball, slapping at it, going to the boards. And they're a great rebounding ball club. A lot of people felt this team and really struggled the loss of the trio, but the effort has overcome a lot of things. At the free throw line, Iowa was 0 of 3 before that shot. You know, to out-rebound your opponents by over 13 rebounds a game is an evidence of that hustle and aggressiveness that Coach Tom Davis has put into this ball. They've led the nation two of the last three years in rebounding margin. Thompson reloads it. Gibson out of Bull Bills, North Dakota rejected. Carolina. Now he's a three-point shooter, Gary, so Dean may try to get a three-pointer right here before halftime. One and one now for Thompson. Thompson, like Iowa, has trouble the free throw line, but he nails that one. Thompson, by the way, has had some problems this year. He was suspended for one game because of uh, public intoxication and also some uh, risk uh, absolutely not wanting to be arrested in the situation. So the one game he was out has come back and since that time has played so well for this Iowa club. He has 16 points in this game. The trap. 22 seconds left now in this first half. 10 point lead for Iowa. Iowa right now matching up a little bit out of this 1-2-2. Uh, two, two. They're covering them outside. They don't want to give them that three point shot. Fox tries to get it into Davis. Rejected inside. Yet another block. And that will end the first half. Yes, sir. Rodel in the second half. Henrik Rodel, who did not start the ball game, will open the second half. And checking Iowa, they're going to open. The Here is Troy Skinner on the move. Nice pass to Thompson who changed the shot. Oh, what a play! Hey, that's a highlight film play. 18 for the sophomore from Summit, Illinois. Let's go back now on that remarkable play by. Thompson. This will make a highlight film. Out in front on the break, calling for the ball. He really wants that ball. Double pump back to the reverse side. A lot of spin on that ball to get it in. He was third in the balloting his senior year for Mr. Basketball of Illinois. Second highest score in Iowa history for a freshman. Second only to Roy Marble coming into this game. He had 357 points a year ago. And he's made it a 48-35 count. As Hubert Davis, number 40 now, has checked in for the target. Batted ball by Ingram. Up it comes to Thompson. Ingram. His second foul. Let's go back to that last break down the floor. Ingram made the good play and got it out to Thompson. And back over his head for the pass. And we said earlier, he not only can score inside and outside, but he can pass the ball. He sees the open man, and he delivers the pass. This is Massachusetts and Virginia. Dean Smith is trying to get his team fired up right now. They, they've got to make a run right here. They're going to get back into this ball game. Stolen by Moses. Two on one to Thompson. Thompson recovers. Using that bounce 
pass. So typical of a Tom Davis team. They bounce pass a lot. Hitting the deck inside was Garner. Thompson trying to move in, and he's fouled by Rice. This game is really being played tough inside, Gary. Guys, it. When you get that ball inside, you better set yourself because there's a lot of knocking and banging going on. Posting up Jepson. They're trying to keep him out of his favorite spot, keep him catching that ball low. Thompson has 20 points in this game, but Joe, 16 of those came in the first half. That's only his fifth point of the second half. He started him out well and has been relatively quiet in the second half. And now in the stretch drive, maybe he'll pick him up again. Well, he's that type player that comes through in the uh, tough situation. It's a boat. Boy, I'm really impressed with Jepson. There's the long arms of Thompson again, batting it out of bounds. Tom Davis said he's never had anybody be more effective in that full court pressure than Ray Thompson. Well, he hustles. Jepson hustles. Really a hustling effort. Crowd on their feet again. Off it comes the Fox. A.C. Earl's going to have to lay off of him because he's in foul trouble, and he gets it done. Good job by Earl in not fouling on that play. Moses, tough three-pointer. He got it. Guys, six and a half to go. Thompson wide open. They left him open, and he can't get it. Follows his own. Shooter is the best rebounder on the floor, and he was not blocked out from the basket. Three-pointer by Davis, and Davis on the baseline, puts up the short jumper. No one blocks out. Madden went for the ball instead of taking a good defensive position. And left. What attempt by Thompson. Out it comes to Rice. Carolina has the numbers. And blocked by Thompson. Chuck had follows. But you have a tendency to get tentative. You lose your flow and you lose your momentum. They didn't lose it there. Thompson just took it on himself. Well, you notice that uh, Iowa, when they're shooting a free throw, Tom Davis will have a substitute at the bench, so it gives him time to set his press. Thompson. And here he's got Webb on the point of that press. That's because Jepson's on the bench right now, and with the four fouls, they want to bring him back a little later. Says Thompson at the line. 26 points, 5 of 7 from the line. Well, we talked about Ray Thompson being the next big-time player at Iowa. It seemed to happen Thursday night in that 32-point performance against Iowa State, and he's now got two back-to-back big-time games. Well, he was a double-figure scorer last year as a freshman, and he's the second-leading all-time freshman scorer for Iowa. Travel against North to go. Put the dribble down, waited for the foul. And they're starting to celebrate here in Carver Hawkeye Arena. Ten seconds to go. Special thanks to our statistician George Hill for his work today. So some of these guys that don't get to play very much could say, I got to play against Dean Smith's team.